What's up, guys? Urban Blaster here. Um, playing this game, uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It's a free-to-play mobile game because I don't pay for this shit. But if you're not aware, a new update dropped recently. It um, added three new scoundrels to the block. Let's uh, take a look and see who those are if you're not from aware of this new update. So, uh, if you're not aware, they did add three new scoundrels to the list. That's uh, the Grimorian Guard. Um, he is farmed strictly in the uh, guild shop, so you better get your raid on, get you a Grimorian Guard. But as you can see, he's a dark side tank scoundrel now. Um, he's he's a kind of weak sauce. I, I did unlock him because I thought he was going to be a, a powerhouse uh, dude in the um, guild shop, but uh, I kind of quit uh, showing him some love. He's uh, been at three stars for a while. He's at level 53 now. But let's see what kind of his. Well, let's see what he's wrong with. He has the hack and slash as his basic ability. It deals physical damage to a target enemy and inflicts damage over time for three turns. Wow. So he'll give you a hit and you'll just keep getting inflicted. With an 85% chance to inflict an additional damage over time effect. Hmm, that is a pretty good uh, basic shot. Power hitting. He's a big guy, you know. Um, the muscle in. Level is his special ability. I got that to level 3. The Grimorian Guard taunts for 2 turns and gains retribution for 1 turn. The Grimorian Guard gain, gains protection equal to 12.5% of his max health while taunting. Hmm. That's pretty good, so you'll gain protection while he's taunting. So that's when you uh, need somebody to take some hits. He's a big guy, he could take it. So uh, let's see his other special, the punch through. Phys deals physical damage to target enemy and exposes them for two turns. That's pretty cool. So I guess there's no uh, evading him. Um, but that's the Grimorian Guard. Okay, so the next new scoundrel that came out is IG-88. He's a dark side, droid, attacker, now a scoundrel. Um, I did start farming him. He's uh, available, I believe, in the arena shop exclusively there um yeah let's verify that find yep arena squad i know what i'm talking about don't fucking question me but he has a basic uh move called the uh, mortal wound let's see what that's all about deals physical damage to target enemy with a 30 percent chance to inflict healing immunity for two turns bam he takes away your healing you can't heal. He, he, he just inflicts that much damage to you. You can't just heal from it for two turns. His special is the uh, Rapid Fire. He deals physical damage to all enemies with the 25% chance to inflict ability block for one turn. He's taken away your abilities. He takes away your healing and abilities. That's why I think he's highly recommended. But he's also a leader. He has the resourceful pursuer. Let's see what that is. All get all allies gain ten percent critical chance. Bam! He's get up in your critical chances. And then he has the um, adaptive aim algorithm as his uh, unique ability. What kind of algorithm is that? Let's see. IG88 has a plus twenty percent critical damage. Bam! He's a, uh, he, he does seem like he's going to be a pretty good thing. He takes away people's abilities to heal, takes away their uh, abilities to use some of their stuff. He's, he's alright as a uh, leader, but he does have that uh, critical uh, hit thing too, but that's uh, IG-88. There will be a substantial reward for whoever captures the Millennium Falcon. Is he paying attention? Ok, 
Okay, the last new scoundrel, he's a light side human tank rebel scoundrel. You know the cool motherfucker, Stormtrooper Han. He's one of the uh, best guys even in the movie. Um, I have, I've kind of farmed him, but I've always been worried about getting him just because I had a, enough tanks and he wasn't a scoundrel. And you know I'm all about the scoundrels, but let's take a look at his uh, abilities. The weary shot is his basic. That deals physical damage to a target enemy with the 25% chance to gain a 20% turn meter. So he's he, that'll bump his speed up. And uh, this attack is high damage variance. Wow. That sounds cool. Then he has the draw fire as his special. You know, because all those tanks have to uh, draw some fire. They could take a hit. But Han taunts for two turns. And all other allies gain 20% turn meter. So he's bumping up everybody's turns. But then he's a leader. He's got that plan B. Because you know Han. He uh, he's always has those plans going on. Plan A, plan B, plan C. He's full of plans. All allies gain 20 defense while above 50% health, and 20% offense while below 50% health. Cool, so he has you beefed up when you're feeling good, and then he got you dishing out some hits when you're not feeling so good. That's plan B. Then he's got the bluff as his unique ability. Han has a 25% chance to remove 10% turn meter from each enemy at the start of at the start of each of his turns. Bam! He's uh, taking away people's uh, turns. He's gonna... Yeah, he'll take those dudes down. They won't be uh, getting as much turns in. But that's uh, um, Stormtrooper Han. I believe you could get him. Let's see where he's at. I know I've been farming him. He's, he's in the squad arena. See, that's the tough thing about the squad arena, because I have been uh, mostly farming a lot of Savage and Greedo in there, but now I got to uh, move on to IG-88 and, Han and Stormtrooper Han. But that's Stormtrooper Han. Uh, uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. What happened? Uh, his like, weapons malfunction, but... Uh Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? We're sending a squad up. Uh, uh, negative, negative. We have a, a reactor leak here uh, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, large leak, very dangerous. Who is this? What's your operating number? Uh, morning conversation anyway. Whoa! We're going to have Okay, guys, uh, now that you know about these three new scoundrels, who knows, maybe you already had these dudes, and you uh, were a little short on some scoundrels, but now maybe you got enough guys to roll in some of the scoundrel events. There's the mod challenge, there's the uh, heist event, the credit heist. That's if you're not familiar with that, that comes in. You get uh, you if your uh, team's up there and you could finish all four tries of tier one and tier two. Well, there's two tries per tier, but four tries total. You could get you a million credits like in five minutes. But it's not going on right now. But uh, let's take uh, my team scoundrel that I've been showing some love to. Let's do the mod challenge. So check your uh, team now and see if you have enough for these. Uh, the scoundrel events, because right here you can get you some critical chance mods. Only scoundrels are allowed in this shit. But I have uh, have yet to uh, beat tier 1, but maybe we could do that today. You And you'll be here to witness that stuff. But if you're not familiar with Team Scoundrel, I put together, there's the Grimorian Guard. He's now on my Team Scoundrel. He's a punk bitch, but so he won't be seeing no action today. But uh, let's take you, give you a rundown. We're going to throw Lando as the uh, leader. Because he's, Lando's a boss as a leader. He gives you the, uh, let's just take a look. His leader is the Fast and Loose. Scoundrel and Rebel allies gain a 15 up speed and 29% critical damage. That's why I rolls with him as the leader. Because he got those methamphetamines. He'll be, uh... 
bumping up my team's turns. And if you're not familiar, the best thing with him is the double down. I got mine to level 7. Almost max, because I just need those gold mats. But anyways, this thing, if you get two, two, uh... Crit more than one critical hit, its cooldown is reset and it deals 75% more damage on the next use. That's when Lando rains blood on his enemies. But that's Lando and he's part of Team Scoundrel. Yeah, that's me. No, Lando! Yo, yo, you straight up running Cloud City right now, dog! That's you, man, you out there. Okay, so who else is on Team Scoundrel? I think everybody's familiar with uh, Chewbacca, so I won't go over him too much. Um, then there's uh, Dangar. He's a, a dude that we all got free of a couple of months ago if you logged on. If you didn't get him, you could uh, um, farm him in the guild stores pretty much where I've only seen him. <clears throat> but um, the best thing about him is he has some AOE with the mine, mini mine mayhem. He has the grizzle veteran, so if he takes a critical hit, he uh, goes disappears for two hit, t two turns. So you, he won't begin much damage on him. And then he got the blast and smash. That's when he'll uh, shoot you in the face, then chin check you with his elbow. But that's Dangar. Wait to get started, right, fellas? Gotta hunt that bounty, but the bounty's in the hunt, I always say. Tricks of the trade, trade secret, disintegration devices. D-guns, D-bombs, D-missiles, I'm the disintegration machine. Want a guy disintegrated? Get me integrated. That's Dengar's motto. Okay, then there's Greedo. He's just a cool mug that I picked up. Um, for some reason, I just uh, like the style that he rolls with. His turtleneck, his uh, frickin' uh, leather outfit. He got um, skills, because he was the... He got that who shot first, so that's his double molly wop. He'll, uh, let's see, currently, uh, he has a 30% chance to to gain evasion up for two turns. Oh, so that's his evasion one. So, um, there's another one where he has, I think it's his, uh, if you first don't succeed, he, uh, Greedo has a plus 10% critical chance and a... 45% chance to attack again when he scores a critical hit. So that's his double molly wop hit. One good thing about him is he is a good leader. Um, scoundrel allies gain a 40% critical damage. So, um, but that's Greedo. And uh, Greedo, he's pretty much farmed inside this, the, uh, squ uh, the PvP squad arena. Then there's Bubba Fett. He's, uh, I believe he's in the uh, cantina, but he rolls with that Mandalorian resolve. He comes back from the dead. But that's Team Scoundrel. Let's uh, see him in action. Lando as the leader. Boba Fett's in there, because I also got Zam Wessel, but she's a uh, lower level, and I got that punk bitch Granorian guard. But let's do this shit! I haven't been able to beat Tier 1, but, uh... Maybe today's the day. I'm feeling lucky. Okay, I'll auto-play this stuff. Because I ain't got time for this shit. There goes Greedo and his thermals. Bubba Fett jet packing. Lando raining blood on his enemies. I think he got two, I think he got two critical hits. Yep, he did, so he took out some more chumps. Bam! They know it didn't stand a chance. I think they got two shots in. There goes, uh, I think Lando didn't score two critical hits because there wasn't enough people on the field. So he'll have to wait before he could rain some blood on his enemies. That was probably the best addition to my team is Lando. And he's been tearing it up in PvP too. I'll have to show you guys that shit. There he is, raining blood on his enemies. We can only hope he got two uh, hits. Because then he'll bring the pain again. Wipe these fools out. There they go. That's why Lando's the, a beast. He just frickin' uh, tears it up. I have no doubt I'm going to get through the mod challenge this time. Dangar did his mini mind mayhem. Bubba Fett jet packing. There, that's why Lando's a beast. He rains blood on his enemies. But I don't think he got two critical hits, so I don't know if he'll be able to pull that stuff out right away. But let's see. 
Bam! Jet packing. Oh no, you didn't. That's my move. They don't gotta stand a chance with all those thermal detonators. There he goes, raining blood on his enemies. That's why you got to get Lando. He's the top scoundrel in my opinion. He's not as cool as Greedo, but he's 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 up there with his abilities. And with that uh, 15 plus speed, I'm, my guys are just taking turn after turn. He's giving us those methamphetamines, boosting us up with some speed. And yeah, I'm going to take down tier 1. You guys witnessed that shit. Because Bubba Fett ain't got to stand a chance. There goes Dangar, shoot you in the face, chin check, and wreck you. Don't try that jet packing against us, fool. We got this three started. Got me a three uh, three dotted mod. That's pretty wizard. This one is a uh, plus seventy five percent defense. It's got the two x blamo symbol, which is a two set bonus of a plus twenty two point five percent critical chance. Max level set bonus is plus 5 critical chance. But it's a 3 daughter. That's pretty good. It doesn't have any secondary stats, which is kind of weak sauce. But, you know, I beat that tier uh, 1 mod challenge. I unlocked tier 2. Want to see that shit? Haha, <laughs> it's my lucky day. I have just enough uh, cantina energy to do the tier 2. Because I'm broke. I ain't got no purple stuff. I ain't got no uh, dineros. I'm hurting over here. Putting all this love in a team scoundrel. But it's worth it. Yeah, I, I'll roll with the same unit. Hmm, I guess uh, those uh, other two guys on my crew probably don't have enough stars to roll on this one. I'm not sure why they're showing up, but not showing up. But let's do this shit. I ain't got all day. And you ain't got all day too, but thanks for watching my videos. Here it goes, tier two. I'll autoplay this because I ain't got time for this shit. And I'll intervene if I have to. There he goes, rain and blood. These guys are level 75. I don't know if I'm going to get through this. Mostly because uh, I am a level 73. But all my dudes are uh, well below level 70. Except for Lando. I think he's rolling at level 71. So I, I'm not expecting much on tier 2. But we'll see. It looks like we'll be taking on that punk bitch Kylo Ren on the end. He'll probably throw a little uh, tantrum. That's what they need to do is add a uh, scoundrel healer. These guys need some healing love. What's up with that? No scoundrel healers. Okay, we're uh, we're about halfway there, you know. Once we kill two guys, we'll be officially halfway there at the 2.5. Or I guess we passed up the halfway point, but you know what I mean. Rain and blood on his enemies. But tier two's looking a little rough. Dangar must have taken a critical hit because he's hiding. Bam! Defeated. But they were a uh, level 75, uh... Dude, so now I know what to expect, you know. But I think we could, uh... I, just, I don't know if it really says which level the dudes are at. Possible rewards. That's where you get the uh, five star, the five dotted ones. Required units. Eh, oh well, but that's a uh, team scoundrel. And, uh... You know, we defeated Tier 1 of the Mod Challenge, the first time in history. Like and subscribe. See ya.